In order to get light brown dye, you need orange and blue dye. In order to get blue dye, you need blueberries. In order to get orange dye, you need red and yellow dye. In order to get red dye, you need chrysanthemums. In order to get yellow dye, uh, you need uh, goldenrod flowers. Honestly, I think all of this is within my reach. It's just... Wow! What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die modded series. Today, we're back on... Undead Legacy, and let's check our general stock here. <laughs> this is so cool, having a freaking um, a vending machine in my base. Um, I don't really want to buy any of this stuff, though, because I really don't need it, but it's still really cool. Um, whenever I whenever I exit out of it, though, it lags. Like, yeah, it took me a... I hit the escape button a few times. Anyway, uh, what have I been doing between videos? Well, I've been doing a little bit of organizing, a very little bit. Um, let's just look through all this stuff really quick. If you're curious on what's going on, just go ahead and pause the video. Right? Um, kind of organizing. There's so much stuff in this mod. Oh my god. And the fact that they give us smaller storage crates is just... It's just... It, it could be considered cruel and unusual punishments in some parts of the world. But anywho, let's go ahead and eat the... Oh, we should probably save the cheese, right? Because it's probably used in stuff. Yeah, it is. Okay. What about these uh, cans? Yeah, we'll go ahead and eat these. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do today? Today we are going to hopefully start working on the base. It's gonna be a little bit, of, a little bit of a challenge because, as one of you guys pointed out, you need a certain workbench um, to actually make a uh, flagstone, which is really kind of crazy. So let's take a look. It is the carpenter's bench right here. In order to make the carpenter's table, in order to make the carpenter's table, not that expensive, but you do need to make it in a workbench, right? I did some exploring um, in between videos, and over here we have a couple of spots. Okay, we got one here, and we've got one here. One, these two, I know these buildings, and what I did was I just came over and looked around them, and I was like, okay, I know there's a workbench in both of these. Whether it's whether it's um, working or not, I don't know. Um, so I didn't want to find out off camera. So let's go there together. Let's see if we got some working workbenches. I went ahead and also uh, got a bunch of uh, materials. I actually have a bunch of cobblestone um, up there uh, that's ready for the flagstone. Assuming, you know, between both of these, you know, buildings, I've got a pretty good shot at getting one workbench. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. And also, guys, so YouTube has come out and made a statement, an official statement, or they talked about it on some show or something, where YouTube is uh, does not send uh, does not send videos to your sub box. Um, not every video, okay? Now, I'm not sure if they were talking about notifications or not. I'll be honest about that, but I'm pretty sure they were talking about Subbox. Basically, and because I know people like my buddy Dan, who I always talk about, um, says he doesn't get a lot of my videos in his Subbox, okay? And YouTube's ex explanation for this was, well, we don't want to bombard people. Like, a lot of people are subscribed to a lot of a lot of channels and everything. And, and I get that. And that's, you know, that's fine. But it's a sub box. A sub box is quiet. All right? I, w I was talking to some people about this on Twitter. And they said that, uh, well, I don't want my phone, my phone blowing up all the time. So I like that YouTube doesn't send stuff to the sub box. Your sub box doesn't blow up your phone. I don't, my phone doesn't make noise when I get a video on my sub box. I think what people are, what people are thinking about is notifications. Now, notifications are clicking on the bell. And basically when you click on that bell, there's two settings. There is one setting that um, will make it so every single video that is uploaded by any of you, any, by that specific subscriber, because you have to go for each individual subscriber. And if you click it, um, one of the settings, it'll make it see so every single video is, is um, you get a notification. And I'm thinking that is what make, is what is making your phone make noises, right? And then there's the other one where as every other, like every so often, you know, like the, it'll skip videos. YouTube will kind of just give you the videos it thinks you're most interested in, right? But if you, but it, your sub box does not make any noise. At least it doesn't on my phone. Um, so YouTube said that they're not sending out all the videos to everybody. Now, thinking about it right now on the spot, I'm kind of wondering if YouTube meant notifications or not. I don't think they did, though, because I know people who um, I'm just not showing up in their sub box. So basically what I'm going to start doing is rewriting my intro. And a lot of channels have already done this. I should have done it a while ago, actually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start asking that you uh, hit the bell, the notification bell. And uh, I'm sorry if that aggravates you, but I really want people to know when I put out my videos. Because, um, oh boy, I figured there'd be a dog there. Um, oh, look at him. He got stuck. What a numb nuts. Yeah, suck it, Fido. Yeah, what now? 
Um, so yeah, a lot of people are not getting uh, my, I, like, I understand if you don't want to hit the notification thing because you don't want your phone blowing up. I totally get that. But the fact of the matter is if you want to see my videos, you really want to hit that notification bell. If you want to hit it so you get some of my videos or all, that's up to you. Um, you know, if you don't want to hit it at all, that's fine. But um, if you really want to make sure you're going to catch all my videos, go ahead and hit that notification button. I got to think of an interesting way to say that in the beginning of my videos. I got to write that up. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but... All right, so this one is destroyed. Okay, well, let's go check the other one. Oh, I leveled up. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, well, so what do you guys think? Uh, can you give me some interesting ways that maybe I could I could ask people to uh, um, to maybe hit that notification button, the bell, ring the bell, something? I don't know. Let's, we'll think of something. We'll think of something, guys. You guys are awesome. I, I know I'll get some good uh, feedback, and we'll, we'll we'll work it out. We'll work it out because um, people are like, yeah, I didn't even know you were putting up seven days of die videos. You know, like I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, and the whole idea of, like, only showing certain videos, like, if, like, say if someone, like, basically YouTube's thing is if they stop watching your videos, then YouTube stops sending them your videos. Kind of, that's the idea. Um, but, like, what if someone, like, goes on vacation? Or if they just take a break from Seven Days to Die? Like, who is YouTube to say what goes in a sub box? People sub, you know, they want to see your content, I, I would imagine. Um, plus a lot of times, like maybe, you, maybe you'll get it, maybe you'll see a, a, a video of mine, like a video I do that maybe a game you're not totally interested in, but it might, you know, strike your fancy and, uh, maybe you want to take a look at it and, uh, you know what? I could have turned you on to a brand new video, man. Uh, a, a brand new video game, guys. Like we, we all like to branch out. We all like to try new things. Could you imagine how many videos like of games I've done? Like I get people all the time. Why don't you play Space Engineers? Um, I have a 40 two-part let's play on space engineers um granted it was a while ago but still you know people probably don't know that why am i overheating so bad oh man we're gonna have to do something about that right now i thought it, i thought i'd have some time to play around with that but i mean i've got shorts and a tank top on i thought that would have been okay for a while but apparently not let's go ahead and uh turn this into leather and i think we're gonna have to make a poncho is there any leather in this area or am i gonna have to go home Oh boy, I am really overheating. Do I have any cool drink on me? I do not. Let's go ahead and drink some drink anyway. Because I know I'm going to be uh, dying of thirst here. Oh boy, what's that temperature going to do? I really don't want to go home. Man, it's still going up. Wow. Wow. Is there leather couches in here? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Alright, let's just uh, break in here. To hell with it. I'm going to ignore it. 114? Whatever. Am I losing hit points? That's the thing I'm worried about. Um, I'm not losing hit points yet. So I'm going to try and find a little bit more leather. And uh, we'll see what we can... Oh, it's cold up still. Man, that is, it's really hot here. Damn. Do I have something on that's making me hot? Uh, what is this got? Uh, plus one. That's like not Oh, I got a puffer coat on. Jeebus. I was like, wait a minute. I should not be up to 115 degrees. Yeah, puffer coat will do it. <laughs> I must have been cold somewhere. Probably cold during the night or something. Ah, that's funny. I wonder how many of you guys noticed that. Like, Gary, you got a puffer coat on, numb nuts? Yeah, well, what are you going to do? All right. So we, I don't see any dogs. I'm worried about the dogs. That's what I'm really worried about. Looks like we got some gas things in here. We got we to be careful with our gas. People said the gas is really hard to get in this mod. People said I wasted the gas with the uh, chainsaw. I don't know. I mean, I got a lot of wood. You know, in a very short amount of time. It probably also helped my mining skill. It probably also helped my um, me getting levels. I don't know if it was a waste, but yeah. I gotta be careful though, because like like people are saying, gas is really tough to get in this mod. Okay. Are we gonna get lucky on this one? Oh, beautiful! Beautiful! We got lucky, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, use this wood. In the um, actual, um, I'm going to use this wood here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So you have to turn wood into planks. And right here it takes three wood for a plank. But if you make it in a workbench, um, it takes two wood for a plank. So we're going to go ahead and put some wood in there. And um, actually, I guess I don't do it like that. I guess I could do it like this. How much do I need? Uh, wooden planks. Oh, I need something. Oh, I need a circular saw. All right. All right. I don't know if I have one of those at home, but I don't care that much. Um, I need 100 wood. All right, so another. Okay, so well, we might as well we might as well make another hundred because we're gonna need a lot, but we can't make that in there. We gotta make it our inventory right there. So I'm just gonna make another hundred, and uh, we'll loot in the meantime. All right, that wood's not even gonna take that long. That's beautiful. 
I'm really glad I got that. I mean, I'm not happy. Ooh, engine. I'm not happy that um, I need a circular saw, but you know, what are you gonna do? I probably have a circular saw. The the guys, the it, the loot in this mod is w whoa. You know, it's in, it's incredible. You're gonna. I might put it on 120 minute days. Just. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Beautiful. Got me a mini bike. Woo, girl. That is awesome. That's such a good find. Oh, boy, that is a good find. That is just, that is just wonderful. It's all turning up cage today, people. That's what I like to say. That's what I like to say. And I got a toilet cleaner. So no more dirty toilets for this guy. Who's got two thumbs and clean toilets? This guy. That's right. You notice I take my hands off my keyboard because I actually did the, the this guy thing. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay, so carpenter's table, we'll just take that back home. Alrighty. Um oh look at all these cement mixers, ammunition table, engineering table. What do we need that for? I don't know. We'll have to find out later. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and let that uh craft up and then we're gonna go home with that. Uh we're gonna do some looting while we wait. Uh what the hell is that? What was that? Where'd it go? Oh, um, oh, an ashtray. Okay, well, there you go. A dirty pork sandwich served up in it. No, a greasy pork sandwich ter served up in a dirty ashtray. What movie's that from? Alright, let's break through here. What movie's it from and who said it? Come on, guys. And don't Google it. I'll know. Cage knows all. Yeah, I know all. Actually, I don't really like that. I want to come down here into this room. We could also break this apart for some steel. Although, I, at least I think you can. Yeah, is that steel? Oh, uh, we got some forged iron and some forged steel. Yeah, there we go. Alright. That steel is actually pretty, pretty good. Because I might be able to do something with it. We'll see. We'll have to look into that. Oh my god, this thing. Um, how many points? Oh, we got a lot of points. Let's put some points in this and this. And then let's go ahead and make another stone axe. We gotta make a real axe too, by the way. Maybe we'll do that tonight, depending on what I need. Um, I don't care about the crude iron axe. Um, I'm just gonna make the stone axe for now. Uh, no, I'm not because I don't have any rope. You know what? To hell with this. Let's just go home, man. This is a, this is not about looting this place. This is about cobblestone freaking horde night building. And we're already on day five. So let me get home and uh, place this down. And we'll start making some uh, flagstone blocks. Well, guys, this is gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. Um... I, mean, I honestly don't know what the cobblestone, what the flagstone recipe is for vanilla. Does anybody know how much it takes? I think it's one in one, right? One stone and one, one stone, one clay for one, one cobble, uh, one flagstone block, right? Because in this mod, oh boy, it's a lot more expensive. I'll go show you in a minute. Um, for well, for cobblestone, it's still one in one. Um, but to make the flagstone with the cobblestone, actually, I, you know what? I might have to go check in between cuts just because I'm that curious. I don't normally look at it, but in this one, it, it feels like it's more expensive than vanilla. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to go take a look at it. It's going to be very difficult, um, though, uh, if it's, if it's as expensive as I think it is. I might just be jumping the gun. Let me, let me stop talking vague about it and get on up there and show you what's what. By the way, I took apart the washing machines and I got quite a bit of forged iron out of them um because i do have a titanium wrench that i found during one of my looting sprees so let's come on up here and let me show you what's what okay so did i see it no i didn't see it okay so flag flagstone four and one this seems like a lot doesn't it by the way i also had to make a masonry trowel and in order to make the masonry trowel i had to put down my um uh, what is this thing called? Is it sure the name somewhere? Smithing table. I had to put down my smithing table, put the smithing hammer in it, um, and then I made the trowel. It was actually pretty easy to make. Um, so I went ahead and made the trowel, put it in here, and now I can go ahead and make my cobblestone. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make it all because it's not like it matters how expensive it is. I still need it. Do I need 92? I'm definitely going to need... Um, you know what? Let's not make 92. Let's make 50, uh, Let's make 65... And we're also going to need, for this build, we're going to need um, uh, flagstone ramps. And we'll make the rest flagstone ramps. 27? Seems like a lot. I don't know if I'm going to need 27. Let's just make um, 24. I'm going to make 12 for now. It's going to be very cheap. I, mean, I know I'm going to need more flagstone, so we'll go ahead and make another 15. So we got to wait for that to be done. 
Oh boy, that is gonna be something else. Um, I really gotta get this base built though. Uh, let's take a look at how we're gonna build the base anyway. Okay, so the way I'm gonna build the base starting off is I'm going to start off with one tower, but with plans to make more than one, all right? So I'm thinking um, I'm gonna use the ramps. So that could be the tower that's gonna be the corner. Um, obviously ramps will go right here to make it give it a little bit more of a round look. My person is getting cold. See, I told you they were getting cold. Um, over here, so uh, let me go ahead and find my puffer coat. There we go. Okay, so is that going to be big enough? Um, I'd have to make it two times bigger, and then I have to put the wall right there. No, that's probably not going to be... I could put that in the back. No, no, no. It's going to have to be bigger. These are going to be pretty big towers. I'm thinking like that. And then basically, I'll put a door right here, and the wall... Go right here. Yeah, the wall will go right here. And then we'll have another tower up this way. I'm not going to build the secondary tower right away. I'm just kind of planning out the, the way the build is eventually going to be. Like the outside of the wall will be like um, will be like this. There'll be like a little tower and then the wall and then another tower and then the wall. All right. And then I'll make, uh, you guys call them ramparts, I think you call, you call them. And they'll come, they'll be in the back. Uh, I don't know how big I want them. Maybe two. Too wide. Mm, I don't normally like making stuff too wide. But I also don't want it to be one wide. I guess I can make it too wide and put things on the edge. It's really risky, though, making it too wide. Although I think it'll probably work. Um, and then we'll have, like, little walkways here. And, oh boy, I should probably plan this out completely before I do it. Yeah, let me think about how I want to do this. Okay, I think I can make that work. Okay, so the, the tower I got to make is going to be a 5x5. Um, a five five. That's what I wanted to figure out. All right, so that's what we're going to do. A tower 5x5. Five Okay, well, at least we got something going on here. Oh, you know what another thing I want to do is? Actually, I wonder how hard it would be for us to make the mini bike. I really don't want to be running around all the time. Um, so it looks like in order to make the... Well, we're, in order to make anything for the mini bike, we're going to need the... Um, yeah, I think I can probably... I think I already have one of these, actually. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to make the mini bike. Why not? I mean, yeah, at least we can get some tires here. Where's my... Uh, where's my trusty axe? There we go. I'm going to make a uh, proper axe during the night. Right. Nothing there. Got some tires over here. Yeah, I want to make the mini bike. I think I can do it. Um, I don't know of anything that would stop me. I, I don't know if I have bad... What did I get from that? Probably some... Yeah, some scrap rubber. Do you have to craft the tires, you think? Oh, I bet you I have to craft the tires. Okay. So, mini bike rim. And that is made with iron ingots. Oh, cool. And that's made in a smithing table. Yeah, I think that's within range. Oh. My. God. This freaking mod, guys. Woo! Let me just take you through what I just went through. Okay? <sighs> Iron mini bike frame. It needs light brown paint can. Well, how do we get light brown paint cans? Well, you gotta get uh, some murky water, some bone powder, and some light brown dye. Well, how do we get light brown dye? Well, let's take a look. In order to get light brown dye, you need orange and blue dye. In order to get blue dye, you need blueberries. In order to get orange dye, you need red and yellow dye. In order to get red dye, you need chrysanthemums. In order to get yellow dye, uh, you need uh, goldenrod flowers. Honestly, I think all of this is within my reach. It's just... Wow! <laughs> uh, yeah, in order to do all that, we need to make this uh, dye and paint table. I'm making a mortar and pestle as we speak. So let's see what else we're going to need for this. Um, we're going to need paper and we're going to need some screws... I feel like I'm getting screwed here. Nah, it's, it's just not really... Actually, I didn't even look to see if I had brown paint. I've got to organize. That's what I need to do tonight. I need to organize this inventory. Um, I don't think I do. If you guys have seen it, let me know. But I'm I'm starting to get a headache, like, looking at all this stuff, to be perfectly honest. Um, so, man, like, woof. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any paint... I'm not seeing any. Let me know if I'm missing it. Um, anyway, I, I do have the uh, mini bike handlebars, which is nice. Um, so I don't have to worry about whatever kind of freaking crazy <laughs> crafting recipe that thing takes. Uh, what else do we need here? Um, we need more paper. Got more paper in here somewhere. There we go. And now we're just waiting for the mortar and pestle. I, I actually couldn't make it because I didn't have enough stuff in here. And um, let's see what we got now. Um, oh, it takes stone. I was putting iron. I don't know what I was thinking there. It takes stone, not iron. 
Okay, there we go. We got some stone in there. And uh, we'll be making the mortar and pestle soon. Oh, my goodness. My freaking head is spinning. I've got like a million things I want to do. Guys, we're not... I don't think we're making this sword base. Um, Well, I guess we could. Uh, you know what? Let me shut everything off and let's just start building up the horde base right now. Forget about the mini bike for the time being. Um, what I'll do is I'll just make the mini bike. Uh, I'll, I'll mess around with the mini bike stuff um, during the night because we got to use this daytime. Uh, did I have an idea of where I wanted to put my horde base? I did, but now I don't know where it was going to go. Um, I mean, I could just. I don't want to put it really close to this base. Uh, horde base, horde base. Oh, that's right. It was going to go over here somewhere. Damn it. I should have marked it. Oh, speaking of should have marked stuff. I should also take this one off, uh, remove waypoint, and I'll leave that one off, workbench, and I'll, I'll redo that and say workbench without the question mark. <laughs> Alright, so my main base is going to be right there, so I think this is probably where I want to put my horde base. It might even be a little bit too close to my main base for, for comfort. Um, yeah, that, yeah, I don't want it to be that close. I don't want it to be that close. It's probably plenty far enough away. Um... But yeah, let's let's just put it back. Let's put it back farther, just in case. All right, guys. I decided to uh, build here, and um, the reason I I wanted to build here was two reasons. First of all, it's far enough away from my other bases that I'm not worried about hordes spawning there to get to me. Um, the, the closest base is honestly right here, and I can't even see it. Like, there's no way. Zombies are going to spawn over there. Although when we build the wall, we probably want to build it this way just to make sure. But the re another reason I wanted to build it here was because I like the clay. I like to build um, my first horde base on clay whenever possible. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build on the clay. So let's get rid of this. Let's dig up some clay. We got to. Another thing we have to do is make some. Um, we have to make some spikes today. And the thing about the spikes is you need the crafting table for the spikes as well. Um, uh, the workbench for the spikes. Um, the workbench is kind of tough because you need the workbench for a lot of stuff. The problem with the workbench is, um, you need a lot of, uh, construction skill to get it. Yeah, you need a lot of construction skill to get it. And you need the workbench to make, to make flagstone. So, are we supposed to be building with wood? How are we supposed to get our construction skill up? Just by mining? I mean, it's pretty easy to get iron tools, so I don't think we'll be using iron tools for that long. Um... You know, so, I mean, when do you get iron tools? I mean, I got them pretty quick. I, I also don't remember. I did that video, like, weeks ago. But, um, I seem to get them pretty quick. So, I'm not sure you're supposed to get your construction skill up. Uh, normally, I get my construction skill up by upgrading cobblestone. But, I think you're supposed to do it with wood. But, man, you, you, gotta, you gotta be crazy to make a base, you know, out of wood. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> like, I don't know. I haven't done it in a while. Maybe it works. I don't know. But, when last time I made a base out of wood, the, the zombies chew right through it. Um, on Horde Night, anyway. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to get your construction skill up other ways. I'm sure you guys could let me know. That would be awesome. Um, all right. So we're good here. Uh, I really want some stamina, but I don't want to waste a whole um, grain alcohol. I should have brought some other kind of um, some drink. The good thing... Oh, snowberries. God darn it. I was like, oh, good. I got some blueberries for dye. Yeah, not so much. Not so much. All right. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to put these down because why not? Okay, so... I don't know if this is going to be like a big castle build. Um, right now, all I have the ideas for is a few towers with walls connecting them. I don't have any big plans for this at all. Um, so, uh, with that being in, with that being said, uh, I think we'll go this way. We'll put one tower right here. And then we'll go this way. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll make it some kind of medieval thing. I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll have to see where things go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building. Where is my... Uh, there it is. Okay, so... This one goes right here. Okay. Like that. And then this one goes like this. Son of a biscuits. What's down there? Oh, it's a stone. Pick up the stone, bro. It's a problem. Alright, so one... It's gonna be five, right? One... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Two... Three, four, five. So it's actually going to be seven. Five in the inside. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Very good. And um, yeah, that works for me. That works for me. Let's get down all the corner uh, corner parts too. Um, I think you could do on uh, on face for this. Yep, there we go. 
on face. Okay, so it's always going to be on face, so that's fine. There we go. There we go. Now, we are going to have to dig below for this, but um, I don't think I'm going to do that today. Uh, we should probably go make the spikes. Yeah, let me head on over to my uh, workbench and uh, set up some spikes. Well, so much for that idea. You need a welding torch. Um, <laughs> this mod is so freaking deep and so out of my wheelhouse. It's not like anything else out there. Um, do I like it? Do I love it? When I, when I want to build something and then I get to the spot where I want to build it and then like um, I don't have what I need, I get annoyed and I end up hating it. But then like when I think about it, I'm like, nah, it's cool. You just, you're just not used to it yet. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the mod actually. Uh, horde base. I'm actually really enjoying the mod. It just takes a lot of getting used to. A lot of organizing, a lot of getting used to. Let's just go ahead and start putting down some stuff here and then we're gonna call this a video. Oh boy, tough, tough mod. It's actually, it's actually a lot harder than other, than the other mods in certain ways, you know? Like, um, I got lucky with those uh, workbenches, but I'm telling you, if you don't find any workbenches, you're, you're locked. You're locked out of a lot of stuff. Um, that construction tools 15 is very important. Um, and if you don't have, if you don't think you're going to find a workbench, you don't want to take the chance of finding a workbench, I would seriously consider just building something out of wood and just upgrading the hell out of it. Unless there's something else I'm, I don't know about. But as far as I know, it's wood, cobblestone, and like reinforced concrete. I don't know of any other building materials really um, that are worth it. I mean, you could upgrade the, you can upgrade the wood all the way to iron if you, if you choose. But if the mod is anything like, um, like vanilla, it, it takes like a hundred iron just for one block of iron upgrade, which is way too expensive. Way too, I don't do it in vanilla. I wouldn't do it in this mod. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very expensive. So that, that is a problem. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really liking this mod. How, how are you guys enjoying it? Are you guys playing it, or are you guys, is everyone playing it? What's going on, man? What's going on with the mod? Um, I've been meaning to watch Games for Kicks' videos, but I just, you know, I just, there's not, not, not a lot of time, guys, as a, as a YouTuber to watch videos. I'm sure Games for Kicks would tell you the same thing. All right, there we go. Well, at least we got it started. Um, that should be pretty cool. I'm going to get home. I'm going to do some organizing. If I get a chance, I'll do some mining at night. Um, I got to do a lot of organizing. All right. But um, I kind of enjoy it. I enjoy it. I don't like doing it on video. And I don't like the fact that it takes time out of my game, out of my day. But I actually enjoy doing it. I, I like inventory management. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.